I welcome you everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In this video, we will see the important video that is related to fellowship. As many have asked many queries about this, we will see in deep about uh, the fellowships in this video. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel is the only channel to give ICER counseling and agriculture education related videos in English since 2021. So you can share our channel with your friends also. So I am talking about um, ICER PG fellowship that is only for PG. So for PhD, we will see in separate video because uh, this video itself will take plenty time. Here uh, you can download this ICER counseling brochure because it is already mentioned in ICER counseling brochure but many have not seen. So we will go with this uh, counseling brochure only. So here in the page number 18 they have mentioned about the conditions for award of ICER PG scholarship and NTS. That is a PG scholarship and NTS. So it is not JRF. Here they have mentioned that the candidates may please note that ICER PG scholarship will be awarded only after completion of online counseling. So if the counseling is completed, then only it will start from academic session 2017 to 18. The criteria for PG scholarship are still ICR JRF distribution based on the total number of the seats in each subject. So earlier it was called by the name JRF. Now it is called by the name ICR PG scholarship has been changed to average number of aspirants actually appeared in the entrance examination of PG in the preceding three years. So it will be changed based on that total number of the that is average number of the students that those who have attended ICER examinations in the last three years. So it is based on that calculation, but I don't know exactly about this calculation. So this is the basis for that total number of the seats in with fellowship. Next is the number of scholarship is tentative and may vary depending upon the number of candidates actually appeared in the examination in particular major subject. Here they have mentioned point by point. The first is the ICR PG scholarship will be awarded to meritorious candidates seeking admission in agricultural universities. Their master degree program consists of course and research work. Candidates already pursuing master's degree program can also apply for fresh admission and complete ICR PG scholarship provided that they have not completed the first year and their postgraduate degree program. If you are in first year also, then again you can write this ICR PG scholarship exam just to get a scholarship from the second year only. So that is what they have mentioned. But you should have not completed your first year PG program. So this one you have you can get from you can attend this exam and you can you should get the seat allotment in that particular college only that is a particular university where you are already studying and you can continue that fellowship from the second year this is existing for phd also for sr of i know many seniors those who have continued from the second year with the fellowship but first year they were not receiving fellowship next is the icr pg scholarship would be awarded for two years from the date of registration in the master's degree program so this is important one they will be awarded only for the two years for graduates with the 10 plus 2 plus 3 if admitted in IRI and the NDRI awarded ICR PG scholarship no fellowship would be payable during the first year of their degree program that is while completing their remedial courses in the first year. So if we have completed your graduates in 10 plus 2 plus 3 stream that and if you have admitted in IRI and NDRI you will not get this PG fellowship at the first year you will get only during the second year during the the search period only. Next is uh, no extension of ICER PG scholarship will be beyond two years of uh, duration but you will not get for the two years also you will get one for one year eight months one year six months like that only because uh, now semesters are condensed so that's why I am telling like this. Next is in case of fellowship allotted to a candidate in a vacant for, is vacant for any reason. For example, some of you may have got a seat in some place and if you have got seat with um, PG fellowship and if you are um, discontinuing that course, that one will not be that vacant seat, that vacant fellowship will not be carried over to any other person. Okay. Even if uh, someone is left next to them. So that is what they have mentioned. So if you have left your seat, it will not be carried over to the that is the fellowship will not be given to the next person. It will be entirely gone waste. Next is ICR PG scholarship award is of last year. Even if in merit will not be awarded PG scholarship. However, admission would be granted. For example, some of you may have joined um, your MSc during last year and you were getting PG fellowship, but you will not be eligible for that. Uh, you will not like the university. So from the next year, you will be writing ICR examination. Next year, you may get this one but uh, you will be eligible only for allotting the college and you will not be eligible for getting this parole fellowship. So that is what they have mentioned. Next is further ICR PG scholarship holder seeks fresh admission. The entire amount of fellowships received by him or her have to be refunded back to the university with interest. So this, that is what I mentioned. So if you are studied for one year in particular university and if you are going to 
నెక్స్ట్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఫర్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ త్రూ ఐసర్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ దెన్ ద ఫెలోషిప్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ రిసీవ్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రీఫండ్ ఇట్ టు ద యూనివర్సిటీ విత్ ది ఇంట్రెస్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ దే హ్యావ్ మెన్షన్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు బి వెరీ కేర్ఫుల్ ఇన్ దిస్ రికార్డ్స్ ద ఫెలోషిప్ విల్ బి అట్ ద రేట్ ఆఫ్ ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్ ఫార్టీ పర్ మంత్ టుగెదర్ విత్ కండిజన్ గ్రాంట్ ఆఫ్ సిక్స్ థౌసండ్ రూపీ సో పర్ మంత్ ఫెలోషిప్ విల్ బి ట్వెల్వ్ థౌసండ్ సిక్స్ ఫార్టీ పర్ ఇయర్ ఫర్ ద ప్రొక్యూర్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎసెన్షియల్ కెమికల్స్ ఎక్విప్మెంట్స్ బుక్స్ ట్రావెల్ కనెక్టెడ్ విత్ ద రిసర్చ్ వర్క్ సో ఫర్ దిస్ కంటిజెంటి grant will be 6000 rupees next is uh, not more than 50 percentage of the contingent grant will be spent for purchase of books so you should not purchase, um, spend all the amount for, of contingency for purchase of book only you should uh, have spent it for um, any other things such as chemicals uh, or equipments travel like that all purchases are to be made with the approval of major advisor or the chairman of the student of advisory committee so this one everyone will know next is uh, all candidates who have awarded uh, ఐసర్ పీజీ స్కాలర్షిప్ హ్యావ్ టు ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ ఏ సెక్యూరిటీ బాండ్ ఆఫ్ అప్రోప్రియేట్ అమౌంట్ యాజ్ పర్ యూనివర్సిటీ రూల్స్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేషన్స్ అట్ ద టైమ్ ఆఫ్ రిజిస్ట్రేషన్ ఇన్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ దట్ యువర్ యూనివర్సిటీ విల్ సీక్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ దే విల్ గెట్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ ద ఏయూ విల్ ఇన్షూర్ దట్ ఇఫ్ ద క్యాండిడేట్ లీవ్స్ బిఫోర్ కంప్లీషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ షీ రీఫ్రెన్స్ ద స్కాలర్షిప్ అమౌంట్ రాన్ బై హిమ్ హర్ హర్ టు ద కౌన్సిల్ సో దట్ యూనివర్సిటీ షుడ్ టేక్ కేర్ సో ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ లివింగ్ ద ఫెలోషిప్ ఆర్ ద కోర్స్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రీఫండ్ దట్ దట్ ఈస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ టు యూనివర్స్ యూనివర్సిటీ ఆర్ ఐసీఆర్ విత్ ద ఇంట్రెస్ట్ ద నాన్ పీజీ స్కాలర్షిప్ పీజీ ఎన్టీఎస్ పీజీ క్యాండిడేట్స్ షల్ బీ ఎలిజిబుల్ టు గెట్ రివైస్డ్ ఎన్టీఎస్ స్కాలర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ రూపీస్ ఫైవ్ థౌసండ్ సో ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ దిస్ పీజీ స్కాలర్షిప్ ఓకే దెన్ యూ ఆర్ ఎలిజిబుల్ టు గెట్ దిస్ ఎన్టీఎస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ ఎంఎస్సి పర్ మంత్ ఫర్ టూ ఇయర్స్ ప్రొవైడెడ్ దట్ దే జాయింట్ మాస్టర్ డిగ్రీ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఇన్ అన్ ఏయూ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ ఏ స్టేట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఇయర్ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ నొమిసిల్ ఓకే దట్ ఈస్ దే హ్యావ్ క్లియర్లీ మెన్షన్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు గెట్ దిస్ నాన్ పీజీ స్కాలర్షిప్ ఆర్ ఎన్టీఎస్ ఫెలోషిప్ దిస్ ఇస్ నేషనల్ టాలెంట్ స్కాలర్షిప్ యూ షుడ్ హవ్ చూస్ ద యూనివర్సిటీ అండ్ ద కోర్స్ అవుట్ సైడ్ ద యువర్ నేటివ్ స్టేట్ సో దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ సో దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ దే హ్యావ్ మెన్షన్డ్ హియర్ ఆల్సో ఫర్ ఫర్దర్ డీటెయిల్స్ ద క్యాండిడేట్ మే సీ ద గైడ్ లైన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్టీఎస్ అవైలబుల్ అట్ దిస్ వెబ్సైట్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ అవైలబుల్ అట్ దట్ వెబ్సైట్ సో జస్ట్ యూ కెన్ కాపీ అండ్ పేస్ట్ దర్ ఇట్ విల్ కమ్ లైక్ దిస్ పేజ్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఫౌండ్ ఓకే బట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ అనదర్ పేజ్ ఐ విల్ షో యూ నెక్స్ట్ ద క్యాండిడేట్స్ అడ్మిటెడ్ ఇన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ నాన్ కాంప్లిమెంట్ టు బిఎస్ఎంఏ షల్ నాట్ బి ఎలిజిబుల్ టు గెట్ ఎనీ స్కాలర్షిప్ ఆర్ ఫెలోషిప్ త్రూ ఐసీఆర్ పీజీ కౌన్సిలింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఇఫ్ దట్ పర్టికులర్ కోర్స్ ఆర్ యూనివర్సిటీస్ not having this uh, bsma rules uh, not following the bsma rules uh, for example under bsma rules uh, they have been changed the department name into entomology not agricultural entomology so if they are following not following this bsma rules and all some of the universities may not uh, receive this uh, fellowship so that one also you have to take care next is the award of pg uh, scholarship and nta shall be governed by rules and regulations issued by the council from time to time after the admission under no circumstances the request for changing of subject and university will be entertained from the candidates or the parents so after getting admission you cannot change your course and university that is what they have mentioned so these are the eligibility for this award of icr pg scholarship and nts so now here i will show this website so this is that um, website so here in this website you can this is the icr website only so here you can see that uh, the rules for uh, icr pg scholarship icr conducts uh, PG2, 25% seats, 100% seats in case of deemed universities and RPCAU PUSA in uh, master degree program of agriculture universities under ICRAU system. Okay, based on the merit in this examination, the candidates are awarded PG scholarship. Okay, uh, the, for the academics, from the academic session 2016-17, the non-PG scholarship candidates submit to fulfillment of the prescribed terms and conditions are also eligible to get NTS PGS for the year. for 2 years so here they have given this revised guidelines for icer fellowship just we can download but uh, this is also not clear okay this is um, they have i already downloaded here this is uh, for the year 2016 only so it does not uh, given for uh, after that so this is just they mentioned for the year 2016 only so this up- websites are should be updated but they have not website updated the website also and the link that they have given in that um, icer counseling brochure is uh, not working then here you can see that um, national talent scholarship this is also icer website only here you can see education.icer.gov.in here they have given that merit based support through national talent scholarship to the undergraduate and postgraduate program shall be seeking admission in the agriculture universities in a state other than the state of their domicile 
so if you want to get this fellowship you should study in your state other than the state of your domicile through icr aea entrance examination this is the information what they have mentioned in icr portal that is education.icr.gov.in